Good afternoon people, friends from around the world. So coming at you with a little video. Well, could be a long one. We've got some stuff to get through here. But my great friend Diecast Dude from Holland, I suppose you all know him by now, um, told me that TK Maxx were stocking uh, Major App. So I've got a store fairly close to me. So I went eye-tailing it off like a madman and found next to nothing in the major at line. But there were many, many positives to take from this, of which I'm going to show you. Um, oh, there's my camera being knocked. Uh, I'd ask you if you're a floating watcher of my channel please consider giving me a subscription um i seem to have stalled a bit i'd like to get to 300 as my next goal point we're nearly at 260 and uh, we'll consider doing another giveaway like we did when i reached 100 beverage of the day in front of you that's a bombay sapphire gin with a slice of lemon and to keep it under 200 calories this is the perfect sized mixer of Britvic uh, great British company owned by Cadbury Schweppes uh, Indian tonic water and if you can see at the bottom low calorie so this is the traditional British gin and tonic uh, the yard arm has just uh, sailed past midday Oh, can you hear that? Oh, oh, that beautiful movie type fizz. As if I'm trying to sell you it. Look at that. Just a perfect, perfect mix. I don't know if I've ever tried Bombay Sapphire Gin. It's not like normal gin. It comes in a blue bottle and it has botanical extracts in it, which is posh for herbs and spices and what have you, and berries. Oh, goodness me, that is so refreshing. My mother gave me a gin when I was old enough and I thought I was drinking toilet water with bleach in it. But it turns out you've got to get the exact right uh, blend of gin to tonic and have some lemon in there. So, before we get going... I'd like to give a shout out to this fella, PJM Collectibles. Uh, I'm enjoying his channel. He's doing quite well, but he could always do better. So if anybody wants to pop across and see him, he does a fine line of die cast uh, of different scales, um, remote controlling, just all sorts, but what he what he does show is really, really, really fine quality stuff in a relaxed style. So if you can, please go check him out. PJM Collectibles. Think you'll enjoy him. Uh, right. So we're gonna come to something else shortly. But so I went to TK Maxx and. Diecast dude said, yeah, it's all, it's all the stocking majorettes. So I went and I found one. But what I want to find. Yeah, Porsche 911 GT3. Very, very nice. Opening doors. Collector's card or... Fold out poster with um, all the stats on. So we've got decent wheels. We've got a nice lime green with black tampo scheme on there. GT3 RS. A little bit of checkered flag action going on there. Uh, great details on the front. Lens dead lights. Porsche badge. Nice air intakes and fog lights on there. We've got a beautiful black spoiler picked out. And we've got the rear lights 
painted on there by the looks of it and the rear badge simplistic on top but this is the only piece I found David the only piece I found and the reason for the finding was that this is not for the English market that's for Saudi Arabia so I would guess as what TK Maxx is good at is intercepting loads or brands that are due for other countries but will never make it so I don't think TK Maxx do stock major at they've just intercepted a load and this was the only one I found in store and people if you go to TK Maxx in the UK you have to dig because they're all over the place I mean I found this hidden behind some plastic dolls next to some rubber balls and there was the odd matchbox five pack there and it was a game but I picked the toy department two pieces and found one but I say this is a great one to find so that's me only major app from TK Maxx <coughs> excuse me Johnny Roman toy car case there we go a Rayura LX I don't know whether this is a real car or not to me it's absolutely hideous but I picked it up you for you know who Miss Trixie because it's pink for those that you that don't know Johnny's fantastically talented daughter Miss Trixie she collects all things pink when it comes to die cast cars so although that's of no interest to me I do know a very special lady that will enjoy that so that was a good find but this led me to this one they had that pearl and chrome set it's just started coming out over here in dribs and drabs uh, fireman food sent me the flatbed Volkswagen T1 and they didn't have a full set there I think they were short of the road hauler and oh I can't remember I need to get my glasses on in a minute I've left them in the kitchen but I did find that uh yes the chase piece and it was hanging front and center I've never had a chase piece it's hard enough to find a regular treasure hunt never mind the super but there it is the gazelle and although a fantasy casting it's a very pretty well done one in this sort of rose gold colour and you know a nice canopy over a fantasy interior but yeah that is the chase piece and you know because there's the regular set on the back and it doesn't feature the gazelle so this is the first chase piece I've ever found I can't say I might not be interested in keeping it it might mean something more to somebody else but it was a nice find so let me just centralize that off a little bit so I want to give a shout out to another friend because this portion of, portion of the show I'm taping over to him XLT Off-Road Bear bit of a long name that's how it's spelt in lowercase but love this guy very relaxed style collecting brands like they're going out of fashion he does great laid-back reviews and um, well he does lots of size comparisons for scale I just find him interesting he researches very well uh, a lot of my friends are his friends but if you haven't checked out XLT off-road beer please do, do so so XLT we was having a little conflab about Norev the other day and I said to you well I think they're as good as Shuko I've got some Shuko and they're okay compared to what the prices are I was actually quite underwhelmed so 
I'm going to show you, this is for you XLT, I'm going to show you four brand new Norev packages. Okay, so this is how they come. This is the original packaging. The blister is always shaped to the car. You can see there uh, who they're affiliated to. Main, mainly French, Citroën, not Citroën, Citroën, David, Citroën. Um, yeah, they're affiliated to Citroën, uh, Renault, I suppose some Dacia. They do a few German. But this here is an old style Renault done in the Berger uh, livery. Now, as you can see, the headlights there are wholly accurate. The grille is wholly accurate. The wheels are absolutely spot on. The painting is as sharp as sharp. And let's look at that. Look, you've got three colours there ranging from black to yellow, to red, to black, to yellow, into them yellow wheels. The um, back end displays the badge. I hope you can just see that. I'm not undoing these because these are for packages that are going out to America. But yeah, there's a badge on the bonnet there. Let's turn it around. You know, wow. I mean, th these things thrill me. The quality is absolutely fantastic and in 164th. So you tell me what you think. Uh, let's give some more examples here. Uh, I do believe this is a Citroen again. Uh, and this one's done as a old time French police car. Gendarmerie. Orally, you'll like this one. It's French police and it's old. But again, the wheels are wholly accurate. They don't partially research them. They do them to death. Uh, you can't see there so much. But again, the front grille and the rear detail, the glass individual um, windscreen wiper picked out there, one big one. But, I mean, check out the quality. The holy, holy accurate. You know, it's just I don't know what I don't know what some people see in brands and some people don't. But I absolutely love No Rev and these newer ones they're doing. I do believe these are all from this collection at uh, the 2020 collection. Look amazing. Let's go uh to two other things here. Um We've got a, a Renault traffic van. It is very, very weighty. That's all die cast. You can tell. The wheels, again, 100% accurate. Um, French, I do believe. Looking from the way. I must put my glasses on in a minute. But this is a French fire support truck. Renault traffic. Done, wholly accurate. Nice beacon on top. I say weighty as anything. That is, I mean, boom. That is a substantial piece. But only accurate. Fully licensed. There you go, Renault. As all these products are. No exception. Fireman Food. This is coming your way, sir. I bet you can't get this out in America. But that is a substantial piece. Fireman, second piece. And here we go back to the old-fashioned styly. Uh, classic. Multigam classic. Beautiful. Again, accurate wheels, headlights, grill, rear badges, beacon, silver roof. That, that is just beautiful. Look at the quality. I think these rival Shuko in so many ways and in other bits and pieces, they excel them. Um, I picked these up. You can't get them off the shelves like you can in Europe. But I picked these up 
uh, from Model Matic York and they're about five pound a piece. So, you know, very comparable with other global prices. You know, but look at them. Aren't they just so fine? You know, goodness me. They are total, total quality. So, we'll shuffle, shuffle the across a little bit. Try and get what we can in. And then we'll come to some real, real finds. Now, if you thought this was good, it just gets better for me being a frustrated English collector in England. In fact, we're going to do away with these because these are the least important, I guess, now. But yeah. It's Trixie! So... We do not get these things in the UK. Oh, we didn't do. There we go. Hot Wheels ID cars. But whilst at TK Maxx, my joy at finding three shelf loads of these. And I tell you what, I went back the day after to get some more. And they'd been virtually cleared out. So what a hell of a seller. Beautiful packaging. Goes above and beyond the normal. There's your base of the car now, with a microchip in, App Store, Google Play, all the big corporate knobheads I don't like. Um, but anyway, Hot Wheels, Aston Martin 1, stroke 7.7. Seven. Uh, now you look at that, and you know I'd look at that in glancing and say, well, I can see there's some detail on decent wheels and that, but it doesn't look inspiring. Until you pull the flat back and you realise, look at that. Look at the paint job on that. I've actually had one of these out of the box and it is a Bobby Dazzle. The Look at that. I don't even need to take that out of the box. I'm not because a lot of these are bound for American friends. But that just looks like as dull as anything. And then you open it up and boom. And this is what I found with these ID cards. And there you go. Look, there's some information on there. I don't race them, so I understand the concept, and I think it's a great concept. Uh, rather like what they did when they went from analog to digital on trains. But that's the first one of them. Uh, second style, 2014 Corvette C7R. I'm not going to put the point in there. Now, this one looks nice on there. But again, boom. Look at that. I think, have I got this one open? Let's have a look. Chris, Diecast Dungeon. This is yours, sir. And I have. So, ah, there we go. There we go. Peel that back. Look at that. Goodness me. Goodness me, look at a candy apple red. Oh, is there, they've even got details under the paint to give it like texture, like tiger stripes. There's that uh, microchip underneath, the clear. I mean, it's clever, it's clever, clever. Fine details. Spoiler, look at the back end of that. Fully spiked out. I'm a cheapskate, you know, but I know there was a, a initially advertising these at eight ninety nine. I got them for five pound a piece, but that is something else. So as I said, you know, Chris Diecast Dungeon, check him out. This is your Corvette, sir. I'm gonna put this back in the packaging for safekeeping. But my goodness. Hot Wheels have got it so right with these. So that's two. Again, you know, an 18 Camaro SS. Kind of looks uninspiring. But it's only when you see it in the box that you realise it's nothing like the artwork outside. You know, oh, how beautiful. 
Oh, absolutely. They're like bars of gold and bronze. And yet you look at it on there and it don't look anything other than a pretty accurate Camaro. Again, you always get to see the microchip underneath. I've got a couple of these. They go into friends in America. All these are going to friends in America. Uh, and I suppose I could send a couple. Mix 67's way. SRT Viper GTS. I got one myself. Oh, now this picture does do it justice to a degree. I'm sure I opened this one. Did I open this one? No, this one's sealed. I've got one that's open, but again, <laughs> look at that inside. Absolutely awesome. Full details all around. Great spoilers. Great metallics. Really deep. As you can see, it's bluer than blue. So that's four. And then Chris, Diecast Dungeon. You like me, so you collect your shakers. So, and again, this kind of doesn't do it justice. It's only when you open it up. Look, look at that metallic with star base in there, star sparkles. And I say I've got this one on display. In fact, let me see. Let me see if I can just find it close to hand. Because again, the details are so fine. And they always look quite alternative. Um, Bone shaker, bone shaker. Ah, do you know as luck would have it? Is that the one? No, false alarm. Sorry guys. I haven't put I haven't put mine out yet. Uh, I believe David Johns sent me this one from America, so I can't show you it in comparison. But I have had mine out of the box, and it's got rust all over it. I don't know if you can pick that out, but it is an incredible, incredibly detailed model. So that's. Five different designs. I picked up oh, about 30 quid's worth while they were going at that sort of price. And then something else I've never found in this uh, country. So I'm saying to my fellow Brits, get yourself to TK Maxx. Every store's different, so I can't guarantee what you'll find. Just that there should be some fine stuff there. Um... This is going to an American friend. Never seen it before. I know the make. Never found it. Motormax. Do believe they're American. Made in China. But what the hell isn't nowadays. And we'll try and get this in its entirety. So we'll kind of zoom out. And there we go. Here's a beautiful 8 pack. Classy packaging. Plastic apertures everywhere. Uh, Diecast collection. I mean, there we go. All holographed and fully licensed there. We've got Lamborghini, Pagani, VW. Oh, you know, and that's what we like. Licensed products. I'm looking at this without my glasses and reading as best as I can. The Motormax logo is registered trademark of Red Box Toy Factory Limited. 2020 so it's a brand new collection motor max toy factory all rights reserved uh, made in china but i'm reading this that it's an american make yeah they've got all sorts of logos and endorsements so let's have a quick look and this is going to a friend in america I can't say who, but he likes very plain cars with no stripes or silly things on. You know who you are. So, top of the shop there, we've got uh, a Pagani Hawaii Roadster in green. Great, great wheels. Uh, tampoed front and back. Great canopy. 
dual air scoop address that's nice bmw 328ci great wheels the wheels are so individual some of them go one or two of them maybe not quite but that's all detailed out in fact i'm looking like this all these cars are detailed out back and front so yeah that's your beamer beautiful yellow lamborghini gallardo uh super Legera. again you can see the badges where they should be lights front and back badges lots of other features on wing mirrors um middle there front and center 2017 volkswagen golf a7 gti gti mark 7 so that is one of the most recent models again you can see the fully detailed out back and front bmw z4 roadster in silver again i think i might have to pick this set up for myself you know um Bottom row, Lamborghini Merchel Largo LP670 4SV. I'm glad it's written down because I won't remember that. Again, fully detailed out. I don't see many people show these in America, but they seem to be an American thing. Let me know if I'm right or not. Uh, Mini Cooper. Again, fully detailed out. Grills, badges, lights. Great complimentary, complimentary interiors. And one of the prettiest things in here, finally. Uh, the Pagani Zonda C12. Wow, lace wheels on that. That tends to go, again, fully specced out. What a great find. I mean, I'm thrilled to bits with that. There you go. You can see that in its entirety. So, as far as I'm concerned this was a show full of high quality and in all honesty uh, thank you David from Diecast Dude uh, if you hadn't got me sent chasing um, do, 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 a little beauty like this which ended up being a false chase as I say David these as you can see were intercepted from going to Saudi Arabia. That's how they've got them. Um, this was just under three quid, which ain't bad, you know, considering these moving parts. I know they do standards above this, but without being sent looking for Majorette, I want to found all this wonderful stuff in front here. And all of this in front here isn't for me. None of it's for me. It's all going abroad. Okay, the Norevs I got, you know, from Modelmatic as gifts for friends. They'll be aware of their boxes before Christmas. I hope we're going into full lockdown the day after tomorrow. Oh, the joys. Um, it's nothing short of depressing. I mean, my question here is, um, if the first lockdown didn't work, and that was for months and months, what do we think a month long second uh, one's going to do? And if masks work, then why is the R line going up? If social distancing works, why is the R line going up? Um, the only thing I would really advocate is wash your hands fastidiously. I do anyway. And it'll keep you getting a good, chase, a good case of the shits. It'll stop you getting colds and flus because you're not touching your face with dirty hands. So I'd always advocate washing your hands. Since I started doing that work years ago, I don't suffer from half of these ailments. Um, but yeah, make of it what you will. It's your lives. Keep safe. I'm not saying it's not real, but statistics now f very firmly tell us that unless you're in your 80s, there's not much to worry about. Unless you're long-term ill with shot immune systems, you're not in much danger. So I, I say protect them two sectors of the public, everybody else, get on with it. Keep your vitamin C down here, keep your vitamin D3, and take it with K27 to catalyze it. Me, I'm going to have another sleep to your good health, people. Oh, what a civilised afternoon. 
So, as always, take very good care of yourselves. And remember, please check out XLT Off-Road Beer. Very relaxing. And please, please, please check out my good friend at PJM Collectibles. Both worthy of your time. Give him a subscription if he can. And please, please, please take good care of yourselves. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll be speaking to you soon with a diecast sci-fi special of some more unusual and special bits I found whilst out the other day. But we'll leave this one here. So take care, everybody. And bye-bye.